Okay. All right, we're just about finished with this little fella. Now, always at the end, after I darken his face a little bit, I get a little red or a little oxide, red oxide, and I dip it in a little water. Just make a little so it won't go on so heavy. And I just do the cheeks with it, like this. Kind of around the face, just give it kind of a... Like that, there we go. Just a little, little color to the face. Okay, you see when it dries, even though it may look awful red when you put it on, when it dries, it doesn't dry, you know, that, that real, real red. So that gives a little, little cheeks, a uh, little color of the cheeks. Now, when you're all through with it, like I said, uh, the best thing to do is go get you some golf tees. And you take that golf tee. And you get your little block of wood, and you set him up on that golf tee, and you stick that tee in the wood where he's just sort of standing there, in other words, and, and glue the, uh, the golf ball, the bottom of the golf ball, onto the tee itself. And uh, this, this area right here gets a little dark in here, so if you want to take a little white, just, a little, just regular white, and, and whiten this up a little bit in here, you can do that, in other words, to sort of give a little bit more realism. Now, I'm going to tell you, uh, I use Def Clear Wood Finish. And you take this now, you don't want to, uh, and you spray this little golf ball a couple of times with this Def Wood Finish, and it will just uh, bring out that uh, uh, luster. I use the uh, satin kind, not the real glossy type. And it will just bring out that face. And... Uh, uh, in fact, I use Def on all my stuff. I, I love this stuff. Def clear, clear wood finish. You can get it anywhere, hardware store, Walmart, whatever. And that's your face. You see? That's your face there. And like I said, take a little Def, go out there and, and, and spray it. You know, do it outside, not inside. That stuff, that stuff's pretty strong. And spray your little face down. And uh, a lot of people will take the... Uh, uh, other part of the golf ball, and they'll do this with it. They'll they'll put this the face on on top of this part of the golf ball. A lot of people do that type of thing, but I I like to get the tees, and uh, uh, I don't have any with me right now. But uh, and put it on the tee, and put it on a block of wood, a little bit smaller than this, and then uh, spray it down with that deaf wood clear wood finish. It's clear wood finish, and buddy, you'll have a little little gift for uh, any golfer can put that uh, on their mantelpiece or whatever and uh, you got you a nice little gift there and that's what I'm saying that's what you can do now that's just what I want to compare with here and that's why I paint them now you see this is what it looks like when it's not painted okay it's got a, a green finish this it just had to be green and a lot of people don't paint it but this is why I paint them now if you look side by side you see why that I paint mine because you can see the personality so much more. Now, you paint, you paint your, your hair. Um, it doesn't have to be gray with white. It can be brown. It can be black. It can be, be whatever. But you can see the difference in just leaving it natural, the difference in the personality there. I don't know. It just seems like when you sort of paint them, you just bring out that, uh, that personality in them. And uh, like I said, here's a here's a green one, and I just can't leave it green. Uh, I mean, even though it's 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 nice looking, uh, as you can see, there's a big difference between painting the face and giving it uh, the eyes and everything like that uh, compared to uh, compared to, to leaving it natural. So, but that's up to you. Whatever you would like to do, 
It takes a little bit more time to paint it, you know, than it would naturally. But like I said, whenever you compare the uh, the look of them, then you can see that it's a whole, whole lot different than what you had. So this is about the end of our uh, our video now. And uh, this has been a... I didn't turn that phone off. <laughs> uh, this is uh, this is the little figure that you got here, and this is a great little old figure. Kind of clean up the back of it right in here. Kind of get it uh, fixed up a little bit. And, uh, boy, you got you a great little old figure here to uh, give to a golfer or give to anyone. That's just a unique little item. I've sold a lot of these and given a lot of them away. And even people that aren't golfers like something like this because they just can't believe that you've carved the inside of a golf ball because uh, everybody thinks that... Uh, so, and it doesn't matter what kind of golf ball. It doesn't have to be top flight. It can be a Titleist. It can be whatever. But uh, uh, these, uh, you want the rubber center to it. And like I said, it takes a little bit more time to paint it. But as you can see, you got a little bit nice little figure. And remember about the tees. So we're through with this little fella. And be sure, like I said, but after he's through with him, be sure and get you some depth clear wood finish. And just because it says wood finish, it goes on anything. And spray it a couple of times and let it dry so that uh, not only that, but if the finish allows, someone starts putting their hands on it. And all of our hands are oily. And someone puts their hands all over it. And, and believe it or not, our, our skin is pretty dirty. And that's why you should spray your carvings or anything with a little finish to keep uh, so that if someone is handling it, they won't get uh, the dirt from their hands on it. And uh, so it can look nice. But that's our little figure. And uh, I appreciate you bearing with me in this. But uh, this is a fun little project that anybody can do. And uh, it 